Ben Surfs here. Another video, this time another classic cologne. And I've got to admit, uh, even though it's a classic cologne and it came out in the mid 70s, this is gonna be the first time for me trying it. And uh, it is, of course, Halston Z14. Now, I got introduced to this by a lot of the uh, comments on some of the classic cologne uh, uh, videos, and they were asking, when are you gonna do the Halston Z14? And, oh, I tell you, it smells good. It's got kind of a woodsy scent, cinnamon. What is it, cypress, vetiver? I've got the whole listing of uh, the notes inside this, uh, the comments are inside the description of this video, but we're gonna use this today for the very first time. I'm gonna do some uh, Nivea Men shaving cream. I've got the 1978 Gillette Black Beauty, this time with a Paul Silver blade in it. I'm gonna be using the Samogue Limited Edition brush, soaking right now from Italian Barber. I got this a while ago, kinda of like the colors of it. I'll be using that. And I will be using the Z14 aftershave. And this actually is not cologne, this is aftershave. So I do believe they have a cologne also, just probably a little stronger. So let's get this started. Go. Got the Captain's Choice shave bowl here. We'll be putting in uh, the Nivea. Well, I hope your week is going good. It's Wednesday already. And for me, it's the start of the, I've never done it before, Summer Bowling League, but uh, I actually had so much fun in Las Vegas that uh, I needed another excuse to go back. So tonight's the first night for the Summer Bowling League. I know, a lot of you don't like bowling, but hey, it gets me out with my wife, see a lot of friends, there's a lot of drinking going on, a lot of fun. Don't always win, but it's still a good way to spend a Wednesday evening. All right, I have that in there. Let me get the brush here. I'll whip up this lather first. Well, there goes that automatic air freshener. So has your week been going good? I have been busy on, whoops, I'm gonna add a little more water. I am going to, uh, been working on the man cave, been working on that dirty, hairy pinball machine, and I'm happy to say that that man cave is now done. All the pinball machines are up and running, and somebody had asked if I would do a, not a shave video, but kind of a tour of that man cave and uh, of course looking forward to it so that will be coming up man it uh anivia min really works good got a bit of a growth coming in so this should be nice to get rid of oh i see the uh 5, subscriber giveaway is going pretty good got a lot of comments so I wish all of you luck on that. We've got a few more days before I end it. And uh, just remember, comment on that video. A lot of people were commenting on my other videos saying, I'm in, I'm in, but that computer, or the computer program, is gonna choose from the uh, 5,000 subscriber giveaway video. And the, it's the only one. So if you wanna enter, make sure you're entering on that one. Ah, there we go. There we go. Whew! Oh, now I got an itch. So, like I said, week is... Oh, and I'm on, uh, I'm on setting number three on this. And you can tell there's the uh, plastic bottom. See right here? The black plastic bottom. I believe they changed from metal to plastic in the 70s. And since this cologne came out mid-70s, I figure, why not? Now, I'm no expert on this. I understand they had two formulas for this cologne. I believe Z12 and Z14, and that was actually the formula number. And they released both of them. But the Z14 was the most popular. So that's the one people recognize the most. And it's been in production ever since the mid 70s. But I understand in around, oh, maybe the mid 2000s, they changed the formula a little bit due to something. I don't know if it's regulations or something. So they said you can't quite smell the cypress, but they said they have so many bottles of that original available on eBay 
a reasonable price that if you're a diehard and you want the uh, original formula, you can find it. It even had Jeff Gordon, the race driver, in 2006, uh, being sponsored and spokesperson for Halston. In fact, here's a picture from there. So that's been around a long time. Now, I'm not 100% positive. I read somewhere that it was released in 76, and I read somewhere that it was released in 74. But uh, definitely the mid-70s. And since I was only uh, 12 to 14 at the time, I didn't get a chance to go to any nightclubs and uh, wear that cologne. I'm sure some of you were at 14 going to the nightclubs, but uh, I wasn't. But uh, from people who are a little older than me, friends of mine, who remember this uh, cologne and this aftershave, they said that if you went into a club in the late 70s, mid to late 70s, Halston was the most recognized fragrance out there. And uh, nine times out of ten when they say you're wearing Halston, it's the Z14. And I got this, oh man, under 20 bucks shipped. Now, I have not let my wife smell this yet. And uh, she's the big litmus test in this house. Because a lot of the ones I like, she does not like. So we'll see what she thinks of this when I get home. And uh, again, I get a lot of ideas about what's, uh, what to do the reviews on from comments. So I'm going to give you guys a shot. I've got three of them coming up that I will be doing a review on. But uh, let me know which one you want to see next. That might not be the next video, but the, the next classic cologne video. I've got uh, English leather, which I do know. Oh, come on. There we go. I've got Eternity, which I do know, and Polo Blue. So let me know which one you'd like to see sooner and uh we'll do one of them a lot of you say you want to see the eternity we'll do that the soonest i get to look at youtube statistics analytics and uh ironically the classic cologne review that gets the most watch time was the gray flannel recently gray flannel so that was kind of cool i would have thought it was going to be the obsession but gray flannel is still available and it's much more reasonably priced than obsession Somebody says if I shaved as fast as you do, uh, I'd be cutting my throat. But you kind of get used to it. There we are good. I think I told you before, I'm going to use this bowl here instead of, you know, filling the sink with water. And man, it does get... It does get messy. Guarantee you, I'm going to be going with uh, soap behind my ear. Had to go to the dermatologist again. This great English skin. You come from England. It's okay. You come from England, you come to the United States where there's sun everywhere, and I tell you, I'm from Newcastle, England. Can't tell by my accent. Lost that purposely when I was a kid. Uh, didn't want to be the... It's not good to be the, the kid that sticks out when you're in a strange school because of an accent. But, uh, man, Newcastle was never that sunny, and, man, 
you know, I get sun issues and they froze something right here. So right now it doesn't look so bad, but uh, in a day or so, <laughs> it's gonna look like I got, got clocked there. All right. You know, if I would have kept that accent in college and high school, it would have been a lot different, but those little eight-year-old a-holes, man. It does smell quite good. Kind of a, they called it a pinch bottle, so you can just pinch it. And I'm drowning it in there. Oh, and it does have a burn. Yeah, I do smell, it smells spicy. I, I can smell the cinnamon, but they say that that kind of fades. But, yeah, it's kind of a rugged masculine scent as opposed to uh, maybe, a, you know, an expensive smelling scent. Yeah, but I like it. First time use of Halston. All right. And again, a lot of you have commented and you said that was still your go-to cologne and your go-to aftershave since the 70s. So you were right. You can't go wrong and I urge you to give it a shot. All right. Thank you for watching. Man, did it go over 10 minutes? Not sure. Seems like I went a little fast. Good luck on the uh, giveaway. And thank you again very much for your subscriptions. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you all in another video pretty soon. Till next time, it's Ken Surf saying have a great night.